I just, I'm gonna need a moment. Just crying about all the money I've wasted on all these dead trends. Disclaimer, these are my personal opinions. If you are easily offended, please skip to the next video. You should always trust your own fashion instincts and develop your own personal style. Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a fun video all about fashion styles that are dead in summer 2022. Now please don't get offended by this video. I personally own almost every single one of these trends that are dead. And I understand that everyone's personal fashion styles are different. These are just trends that in my opinion are no longer in style and need to be pulled out of my personal wardrobe because they don't reflect my own personal style. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first fashion trend that is dead in summer 2022 are purses with pouches. Now I'm talking specifically about the crossbody purses. You've seen them, Louis Vuitton has one, several other brands have them, but they have, it looks like little coin pouches hanging all around the one main compartment pouch. I just think it looks sloppy. It looks like you're going fishing and you've got all your little lures hanging on there. I don't know, but it's just not functional. Like imagine you put your wallet in one of those pouches and you're at the cash register and you're like, wait, uh, hold, hold on. My wallet's in, it's in one of these little pouches. <laughs> it just looks sloppy and we could do better, right? So let's move on. That leads me into the second style that is out of fashion in 2022, and that is the fanny pack purse. Now hear me out, hear me out. I know I just watched the Chanel pre-fall runway show and their belt bags are so adorable. They're so on trend still. I would love a good Chanel belt bag with the chain. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I'm talking specifically about the fanny pack style belt bag that's worn across your body this way. Let's just get straight to the point. They're not flattering to your girls, okay? It's smushing down your chest. It's taking away from the most feminine part of you. And unless you're a rail or super skinny, it's just bulky and looks sloppy, okay? If you wanna be hands-free, get yourself a really chic backpack. Backpacks are still in. They're getting tinier and tinier, but they're still super cute and trendy. If you need to be hands-free, consider wearing your belt bag the way it's meant to be, right? As a fanny pack. It will accentuate your waist, usually the slimmest part of you, and then you can still be hands-free, right? Which leads into the next fashion trend that's dead in 2022, which are the logo printed wannabe Louis Vuitton canvas bags. Now I've seen several from Coach and Michael Kors like this. I know Tori Burch does some like this and I don't like it. It's got the brown with the tan logo and from a distance it looks like a Louis Vuitton canvas bag. But you get up close and it's an MK from Michael Kors, what? It just looks like you're trying too hard. It looks cheap. I'm over it. I'm tired of seeing it. It's played out. We could do better ladies, okay? The next trend that is dead to me is logo mania. You know the girls, you've seen them. I have a picture of myself doing this. They have the Gucci t-shirt. They have the Gucci belt. They even have the Gucci bag with the big GG logos. They might even have some Gucci shoes on, right? They are doing it the most, right? Well, thank goodness Logo Mania is dead in 2022. And I'm so glad because it's just too flashy. To be honest, when I was head to toe in logos, I, I thought, you know what? Is it too much? It crossed my mind and I should have listened to my own personal instinct because yes, it is too much. I've seen a lot of beautiful handbags coming out with a very subtle logo or even no logo at all. And I think that it's beautiful. And I don't think you need a giant logo to scream Gucci, right? You can still look beautiful, elevated, fashionable, and chic 
without all those logos. The next trend that needs to die in 2022 summer, I have grouped these two things together because they kind of go hand in hand. It's the tie dye or the band t-shirts. Two summers ago, I can remember going to Free People and spending close to $100 for this Rolling Stones band t-shirt that I saw on some influencer on Instagram. I had to have it, right? The funny thing is, is that I don't even like the Rolling Stones that much, but I saw someone wearing that exact band tee and I thought, oh, that looks so cool. Was it part of my personal style? No, but I jumped on the bandwagon, had to have it, right? The other day I was at Target and I saw almost the exact same t-shirt for $12.99. <laughs> it's had its moment, it's saturated the market, and it's done. So if it's your personal style, if you love the Rolling Stones, you keep rocking those band t-shirts. But if it's not your personal style and you are just jumping on that trend because you thought it was cute, time to let it go. During COVID, everyone was buying tie-dye kits to tie-dye t-shirts, socks, everything I saw tie-dyed. I even purchased some tie-dye from Abercrombie that was part of their pride collection. It was beautiful. The rainbow swirls, it was colorful and fun. I even tried to purchase some tie-dye kits from Walmart for, to do like a crafty thing with my kids because we're stuck in the house, it's COVID. And tie-dye is just a fun activity to do, period, right? You couldn't even buy tie-dye in the stores. Amazon was sold out of tie-dye. Everyone was doing this trend last summer, okay? And I loved it. I still like it, but I've realized that it's not part of my personal style and it's a trend that's starting to fade away in fashion. So I'm going to be clearing out some of that tie-dye from my closet, but it was a fun activity. It was a fun trend, but it's been overdone, and now it's time to leave tie-dye at camp. <clears throat> this next trend that used to die really hurts my heart, girls, because I loved it so very much. I rocked this trend as much as I could with shorts, with skirts in the summertime, and it is the Chloe booty. It's had its moment, but we saw it all over Instagram, at Coachella, at all these fun summer events. Everyone was rocking these little booties with all the embellishment, kind of like that cowgirl style, right? But this style is dead. This season, we're seeing traditional tall cowboy boots come back in fashion. And I think it's really cute and fun if that is your personal style. It's not part of mine, so I'm not going to be jumping on this trend, but I can appreciate it. I think they look adorable with dresses, with shorts. If you're going to a fun summer concert, go ahead and grab yourself a pair of these tall cowgirl boots and rock them. Okay, and the last trend we're going to talk about today that is dead to me are, can I say, can I say booty shorts? Oh, okay. Booty shorts. These are the shorts that are very short to begin with, but then you cuff them an extra cuff to make them just land under your butt cheek. I actually wore a pair of these last season and I'm not proud of it. Probably shouldn't have. We can do better, okay? The new style for shorts this year, which I mentioned in my last video about fashion trends for summer 2022, which if you haven't seen it, I'm going to link up here in the cards. Go check that one out. But the new trend for shorts for this summer are longer shorts. They might be a little bit more high-waisted or just mid-rise, but they are the five to seven inch long shorts, mom shorts, dad shorts. I've tried on a few of them at Abercrombie and they are really comfortable and I'm going to be stocking up on a few pairs of those. We don't need to have our butt cheeks almost hanging out, right? It's not comfortable. And sometimes in summer when it's really hot, do you really want your thighs rubbing together? No, no, we don't. So that does it for this video, girls. Thank you so much for tuning in for these fashion trends that are dead for summer 2022. And if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, go on over and check me out at Midwest Overdressed. And I'll see you girls in the next video. Bye.